Hello, today I want to show you a Osram Tolox D fluorescent plug-in lamp. So let's get straight into the video. I'm going to talk about this. So let's see what's printed on the box. It's an Osram Tolox D, a 14 watt 900 lumen one, and this is just the pin, the pin connector. As we can see, yes, it produces 900 lumen, it consumes 30 watt, 4000 Kelvin is the color temperature of the light, and the pin or pins connector is a G241. So, let's unbox it. Before unboxing, I want to bring out the fact that there's no printing about Mercury on the entire box. For example, this one has less than 1.6 milligrams of Mercury. Okay, let's unbox it. So, this is the lamp. Here is the printing. It's made in China. Now, original ones were made in Italy, but doesn't really matter. So, let's plug it in. Now, before plugging this into anywhere, we need to know that these lamps are fluorescent, so they mean they need a ballast. This one is an adapter that I bought on Amazon. So now let's plug it in. Now I'm going to show you how to plug it in. You just take the bulb and put it with these plastics like this. And you insert it, push it in. And that's it. Okay, I made the room darker, so let's go. Okay, it is not very blink happy. It's only a little bit at the beginning, and if I switch it again on, even less. Now, very important for this bulb specifically is that, as you can see, it doesn't even blink. So this is a very important fact. But considering it's from Osram, you can't of expect some quality. Now, no starter has been seen at the bottom of the base, so I guess it's an electronic starter. And I'm going to focus on the background. Now, very important for this lamp, lamp technology, is that normally or usually these lamps take a while to warm up. However, for this individual bulb, it's not necessary, or it should at this point it doesn't even need time to warm up after its original strike it's going to be just bright so this is another plus for this lamp i'm going to touch it to see how warm it is oh well you can touch the to the bulb it's actually hotter towards the filaments but overall it's not that warm considering it's not in incandescent so it can be that warm but still, some heat is lost. Yep. Now, to be honest, if you would have to light up a room, this is a pretty bright one. However, you would need, nevertheless, around, let's say, around six of these, or there are also combinations. Now, usually these are made to be plugged in in a ceiling fixture, usually straight up or horizontally, but I would say maybe in a combo, so it means where there are two of these, let's say four, for, so for that matter if you were just in another one in this position of the same bulb, it would make, it's not bad and the energy efficiency class 
is A. So, no, no word or new words this is a bad poop. Still, I wouldn't say you should break it. And even though there's no mention of Mercury, I would still not break it to see it. Now, something very annoying with these wolves is usually to get them out from their fixtures, but it's not that hard actually with these that have four. You just pull it from its base, you just pull it. Uh, I'm a bit sweaty. And there we go. Also, I should mention this one cannot be put in a deluxe S because of its uh, pin's position. So overall, the bulb isn't bad at all, and I think maybe their actual application is rather a retrofit for old lamps and to keep the nostalgic feeling. CRI is, by the way, 80, so it's not bad. Now, if you have questions about this technology, leave a comment and I will try to answer. And if you enjoyed this video, give it also a like. And hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I make a new video. You can be sure it's going to be about lamps. And especially if you want to see the big ones and the other special ones. So, see you next time.